so many. My oldest daughter, Misty, we were talking the other day, and uh, she got a kick out of the two videos I put up earlier and wanted me to put another one. I told her I didn't really know what I would talk about. I mean, farming's kind of out. Tractors is out. But there's other things I can talk about. But I've been down for at least a month. Going on two. And the only place I can go is just right in here. I mean, I can, I've got a portable oxygen tank, but it won't keep up with the oxygen that I need. So basically, I'm limited to whatever my oxygen tank will stretch across the house or the oxygen cord, whatever. Um, so I've gotten a lot of TV time. Um, there ain't crap worth watching on TV hardly at all. But especially the last week I was in the hospital for six days. I never was bored in all my life. I told myself, let me out of here. I can, I can do better. So anyway, during that time, I got a good dose of everything. I don't understand everything, I'm not saying I do. But and at times it was it was just downright funny. You got the Democrats who really don't give a damn about the country. They just want to beat Republicans. Then you got the Republicans who really just want to beat the Democrats. I never thought I would see prestigious political jobs become a wrestling match. I had some friends that were professional wrestlers. And when I first got to talking to them, I said, man, do y'all really hate each other like that? He said, no, we all go to the bar and have beer. And we laugh at all the stupid people that think that there's, that we hate each other. I said, so you don't try to hurt each other? He said, no, because if we hurt each other, who are we going to fight? That's about the way this is. Uh, but then there's some things that's going on that's really serious. And uh, just like, and it's almost laughable. Defunding the police department. I'm not sure how this saying goes. Um, I said God didn't make great all men equal. It's either Smith and Wesson or or one of them. One of the guys said they did, and that's true. You know, they they used the example of an 80 year old woman being attacked by a 20 year old man who was intending on robbing her, possibly raping her, and maybe even killing her. That is not a fair fight, unless that woman's got a weapon in her hand. So I'm a I'm a I'm a strong proponent of that. Uh, I think everybody ought to have to be armed. But this defunding the police department, what kind of jack wagon thought that up? You know, besides the, the thieves and the hoods and the powers that be. I mean, true, there were some cops that killed some people. Out and out, downright murder. And uh, they should be tried as murderers and should be stand against. Uh, they should defend them. They should be basically brought up on the death penalty because what they done was premeditated. I know that one that I seen shoot. That man had done a thing but try to go to his car. Uh, not that I saw. But it's, it's just funny. You know, try and defund the police. If you defund the police, how many out there think that uh, this is going to solve everything? I'll, automatically, all the, the robbers and the crooks and the criminals and the thieves and the murderers, they're all going to quit and be nice. Just like if you make everybody register the gun, 
They didn't make everybody turn them in. There'll be no guns on the street. And if you believe that, I got some good swamp land in Florida. I'd like to tell you. Or a bridge. You're an idiot. I can't say it no simpler than that. And it's the truth. You're just a freaking idiot. If you really believe that that's the truth. But I tell you what, for the crooks and the thieves and the robbers, and all these people who are just really pushing for this to happen because then they've got no way, you know, there's no reason, that reason no way that they can stop you. Uh, if the cops are not there, who are you going to call? And what's funny is this same group of people that's behind all this want our guns. And they say, well, you won't need your guns. You'll be able to call the police. Well, now they're trying to defund the police. So you go call. Nobody. And I personally really don't dial 911. You know, I, if you come at me and my family and you mean harm, you're not going to stand there very long. Uh, I don't. I mean, the time the cops get here, you've already done some, killed half of us. But uh, if the cops ain't there to get here, who exactly do you think you're going to call? That's your Jackie Chan, Stephen, uh, uh, one, of the black, one of the martial arts people. I just watched a bunch of these film clips. Um, Steven Seagal. Missy, if you remember, I taught you some of that stuff. Got you in trouble too. But anyway, unless you're one of them and you're young and you're strong and you're healthy, you're not going to last. Neither am I. And then when you're watching the news, uh, it's, if you're watching Fox, CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, uh, any of those, and you believe that you're getting the good news, the real news, again, you're stupid. You need to look around, like censored.news. They won't even let most of these companies be quoted on Facebook or any of them. If there is any, I haven't checked, but if there is any uh, decent conspiracy sites, you can get news there. You just have to really watch what you get. And on YouTube, holy smoke. Let some of these people on crash up here. Um, YouTube has been censored, which I don't really like censorship unless it's just to clean the barn out. You know, it's just, it's just some of the stuff up there is just stupid. Um, Eagle biloba extract demonstrates neuroprotective effects on retinal ganglion cells against hypoxic injury. I don't know what I used to take it for blood thinner. That's what your blood thinners, whom your blood thinners are derived from, is Eagle biloba. And I heard something the other day. Netflix has a thing on health. It's little uh, sections. You know, you got a show, and then you got another show. They're all, they're all unrelated, but they're related as far as health goes. We didn't watch the sex one. I thought that was stupid. But uh, we got to watching this one, and it was about um, using essential oils. <clears throat> and for a long time, I've used Boswella. And Boswella is the name 
of frankincense once it's been broken down to a, a form that you can appeal for. And uh, you might have heard of Frank Gold, frankincense, and myrrh were the three things that the three wise men brought Jesus when he was born. But uh, anyway, uh, my first time down there to get to the neurosurgeon, they found two tumors on my brain. And they prepared me with uh, the cyber knife, or prepared me for it. And when they got there, both tumors had disappeared. And so then the next time they found three tumors. So they once again prepared me for the cyber knife. I laid down in the machine and they only found two of the three. So they've accomplished taking two tumors off my brain, but three have disappeared. Now it's funny, we was watching that. I had no earthly idea. I didn't know whether they were pro or con, but we do use essential oils, not like to extreme points. And I'll be darned if they didn't turn around and they said that frankincense had this one woman, she was, you know, uh, like an instructor in it. And she said what got her hooked in it was she had a brain tumor and frankincense had dissolved it. And they'd already operated on her and they told her, you know, there's nothing else we can do. But she was taking frankincense and it done away with the tumor. So I don't know if, I mean, good Lord's got, he's got the ultimate say. But sometimes he uses things or people to uh, do what he wants, you know, do his, his bidding for him. But I thought it was just unreal. That they, they said this, and that I had been taking frankincense. I've, I've got arthritis from a lime tick. I just got bit of lime. Just got done getting bit with a lime tick and going through all that crap. But 29 years ago, I got bit for the first time with one, and that's what it left me with was arthritis. It didn't start out too bad, but it's getting worse as I get older. But uh, Anyway, I just thought that was freaky. Uh, but if, if you if you really want to know what's going on, you can't just read them same people. Because, you know, what was that Fox used to say? And I like Fox better than I do any of them in sad times. But Fox used to say, we report, you decide. That was a crock of bull. They report, and then they give you their opinion, hoping that that will change your opinion. So if you want the truth, that's what you got to do. But as far as defunding the police, I don't know what everybody else thinks, but if they defund them in my town, you sure as hell don't want to come here if you're going to do bad things. Because then there's nothing to stop me from stopping you and that's going to hold true with a lot of people here in the south anyway but uh, you got a few bad cops and yes they do need to be tried for murder but then there's only a few of them you got a lot a lot of good cops out there uh and it, a lot of it's up to the, the management that's into the cops in it. And so a lot of that goes into the management that's into the country uh, to control them. Because, you know, you, you don't want to go to their head. At the same time, you don't want them to stand there and get killed either. And you don't want them to go out there killing people. 
because they are to protect and serve. So, anyway, how was that, Misty? I hope it done good. That's just the stuff that I've seen. And that, if you ever wonder why Findings 2 is the name of it, that's, I haven't written there in a long time. Uh, I really don't think that I want to be a watchman anymore. But that was my area of writing. Uh, I didn't do videos. But, anyhow. About stuff like this. It's funny. Well, we've been watching TV. Uh, most people sit and watch TV and they don't think nothing about it. I sit and watch TV and when I do, I look for sigils or symbols, whatever you want to call it. And it goes all the way back. I watched Andy Griffin, No Time for Sergeants, real old movie. You would not have thought that there would be anything in back then. And it goes all the way back to Charlie Chaplin. But anyway, he was standing in front of this little, not desk, but uh, counter, and on the wall in behind that counter was a pyramid. So, it's in everything, folks. It's in everything. Lucent Technologies. It's the Aura Borealis. I think it's how you say that. It's a snake swallowing its own tail. But anyway, that's all I can think of, Miss. You know your daddy. He ain't real bright. Just to show you, I'm still here. Still woolly. That's a shirt Megan got me for my birthday. I thought it was funny. It's cute. Um, I still keep looking at the top of the TV when my camera's right there. Don't ask me why. I should have focused. But, you know, wait, focus is the last thing I've ever been. Um, I did take my own bath today. I was going to wait till Lenice got home because she's been helping me in now the tub because my heart rate will run over 120. And that's taking my truck off. And the oxygen level has went down as low as 66. So, I decided today I was going to do my own, and I did. I took my own bath. Took my time. Got in, got out. And the stench is gone. My hair's clean. What little I got left. My bruises from the hospital are about gone. Oh, but damn, they didn't wire that thing out. Where is it right there? So, anywho, I'm not better, but I'm getting there. And I will get there. I will be there. So that's it. Beep, 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 beep. That's all, folks.